Karen here. Good afternoon. I hope you're having a nice day. I am going to show you how to apply Jamberry fingernails using a Scentsy warmer. However, I need to give you a disclaimer. This is not endorsed by Scentsy. Uh, this may void your warranty. <laughs> this is just something that I discovered that I do. I do not sell Jamberry. I've got no affiliation with them. I just happen to like their nails. Um, I am a, a Scentsy consultant. I do sell Scentsy. I have a plethora of Scentsy warmers in my house, so it, when it was available and I started doing the jams, I just discovered this technique, and so I thought I'd show you how I do it. Uh, first, I'm going to show you what you need. You need to have very clean nails, so I always use a makeup remover and some nail polish remover just to get the oils off the top of my nails. You need nail files, and I like to have an assortment of grit. Uh, we'll talk about that later. You need a pair of scissors. I have big manicure scissors, and then I also have tiny ones because you're going to have to cut the nails down. I have cuticle pushers. Get metal ones, all right? And then I have nail clippers, okay? So these are the Jamberry nails we're going to do today. I'll just show you these. I think they're quite old. I've had these for a while and I used them once. But now it's springtime. I feel like it's time to pull them out again. So these are the little, I don't know if you can see that. I'll be zooming in a second, the close up the little glasses. So I'm going to apply those on the, to my nails and I'm going to show you how to do that using the Scentsy Warmer. Okay, we're ready to dive down here. This is my absolutely disgusting Woot Scentsy Warmer and he is disgusting because he sits on my mantle and I touch him with grubby hands and you can see I've got some candied pomegranate warming at the moment. He is on, so he's all heated up. I'm going to take the dish off. We don't need that. What I'm going to do is take both of my metal cuticle pushers, yeah, and I'm going to lay them down on top of the, so you see, there's a flat one and kind of a curved one. Lay them down on the hot plate so that they're just resting there, okay? And that'll get them kind of hot to help activate the jamberry. So, I think what I'll do is start with my pointer finger here. Why does pointer finger remind me? I want to say pointer sisters. Oh my gosh, I'm a nightmare. Okay, so I just use this little stick to pull it up, try not to touch. We try not to touch the bottom, the sticky bit. Okay, I take my manicure scissors. There. And what I do, there's random cotton fuzz there. Is I hold this on the hot plate with the, you can see the um, pattern side down. And I hold that onto the hot plate. I don't know where my tweezers have gone. I'm going to do a poppy. Where are my tweezers? Do you know where my tweezers are? You hold this on here for 10 seconds, and I do usually time it, just because I want to make sure I don't destroy the design on the front. And I want to, um, but what you want to do is wait until it starts to curl on the edges. And that means that the glue is heat activated, so it's ready to go onto your nail. So that one's starting to curl up. What we do is we touch the corner, the bottom curved bit, right over where your cuticle line is, hoping you've pushed your cuticles back. Then I take my medical, metal cuticle pusher that's all nice and hot, and I'll rub it and rub it and rub it, and I use a lot of force, okay? So really rub it. Apparently fr the friction and the heat and the pressure are what activates the glue to kind of stick it down, okay? So I really rub it on there, really make sure that's got a good adhesion, and then I'll go back with the flat one that gets a little bit hotter and really, really make sure that that is stuck down everywhere, all over. Okay. So we've got something that looks like that. I take my little manicure scissors and I cut off the excess. So, you can see, that looks, we're starting to look like something now, right? Isn't it cute? Now, what we do have is we have an edge that's not sort of stuck down. We've got this edge that um, air can get under there and lift. So what I do is I take 
the edge of my finger, just the edge, I'm not touching my actual finger to the hot plate, and I just tap it onto the hot plate for two, three seconds. So you're just tapping, 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 and the heat seals down the edge of the nail. So you've got a really nice seal there. Then you should let it cool for a minute. What you do is you take your you take your emery board and you want to file off the excess that you didn't get with the scissors. So you're filing off the excess and at the same time what you're doing is leaving you're filing at this sort of an angle so that you're leaving a little bit of nail. So you file at this angle so that you do actually have a bit of nail tip showing. No one will notice, I promise, but what it does is it gives you nail to adhere so that when you use your nails to go into your bag or you know anything that you're doing with your hands, you're not catching that constantly that lip. It gives it a chance to seal down. So now I've filed away the excess. I've got a really smooth, always this direction, always this angle. I've got a really smooth nail. Then I go back in here and I tap, 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 tap it again. Okay, so now you can see my nail is completely smooth. I might rub a bit more. And when I've finished all of my nails, what I will do is take, some people take a plastic bag. I didn't have a plastic bag, however, I had a rubber glove, don't ask. And I put the rubber glove over the nail and really stretch it, really get a tight bond. And then I hold the whole thing again over the hot plate. So it's heat and push and heat and push and heat and push and heat and push. And the reason that the Sensi Warmer works so well is because it's not so hot that if you accidentally touch it, you're going to burn yourself. Um, however, it is hot enough to activate that glue. Then I am, again, using an element warmer. So if you're in the United States, you might have a light bulb, and I don't know how well that's going to work, but just choose one of your element warmers for that. Now, look at how dirty this guy is. I think I might do another video and show you how to clean your Sensi Warmers off, especially your white ones. But that is, that's, that's how you get that nail on there. So I'm going to carry on and finish up the rest of them. So as you can see, you've got a really nice seal all the way around the nail. That thing is not coming off. Mine generally lasts me two weeks, sometimes three if I'm being lazy. But that's not going anywhere. And you can even rub the top of it. It's, it's not going to fray at the top because we've heat sealed that edge with the Sensi Warmer. Thanks for watching. That is how you apply Jamberry nails using a Scentsy Warmer. Um, I hope you can give us a go at home. And if you want to buy some Jamberry nails, you will have to find a rep. If you want to get in touch with me, I can recommend a few people that I know. If you want to buy some Scentsy, you can always contact me, Wickless Karen. All of the information is down in the description below. Um, again, disclaimer, no affiliation with Jamberry. <laughs> I am a Sensi consultant, and I do not endorse this method of putting on Jamberry nails. However, this is how I do it. <laughs> Bye, guys.